when you think it's too late. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 110. It was two weeks ago tonight that I sat here in this studio and barked out episode number 109, wrapped up my computer, headed down to Florida to be with our kids, and uh, then released the podcast the next day. And here I am two weeks later. Uh, Hurricane Florence has come and gone. Um, Some of you wondering how we did. We did fine. We're inland, so uh, it veered a little bit south of us, and we were spared. Uh, Many were not. Uh, Many are still underwater. I think of uh, folks who listen to this podcast. As a matter of fact, it gave us a big welcome to North Carolina, an email just before we arrived, Beth and her family. I I pray that you're doing well. Uh, Keep these folks in your prayers because those along the coast are going through a tough time as the waters continue to rise, even as I I speak. Uh, We did fine. Uh, We evacuated to Tampa with our kids and then came back uh, after everything had blown through and our our house was fine. Uh, Now, I I did miss a week. I said, you know, I'm going to give myself some grace here and... (laughs) I will take the week off and then uh, resume back with our our series and our episodes uh, this week. So here I am. Welcome to the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. And that's uh, a long but uh, official intro for you. I'm John Fugler, by the way, Athletic Scholarship Coach. Been doing this for over 15 years with families helping them to get athletic scholarships. It's a tough world out there and we help you navigate through it. Uh, Provide this podcast as one of the free tools as well as the uh, Recruit Me Power Pack, Recruiting Power Pack can be gotten at RecruitMe.com, Recruit-Me.com. Encourage you to go get that. Three elements that will help you out in this journey. And, uh, of course, publish the book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook, which is available on Amazon and also Audible. I encourage you to go get that. And that's uh, uh, it's well worth the price. It's under $15. So uh, go ahead and get that. This week... Um, We've been doing the one question episode and continue to send your questions in to me at John, J-O-N, at recruit-me.com, John at recruitme.com, because we'll continue to answer questions. But as we're in the fall season here and just getting started, a lot of fall sports just a couple weeks in, and, you know, the school year is here, you're really thinking this is kind of the time of year families think about athletic scholarships and begin working on them. Um and the the question comes up often that I wanted to pose here myself because I know many are asking it. This is the question I want to cover today. Uh, is it too late? <laughs> I, I get two questions. One, is it too late? And other another one on the other end of the spectrum, is it too early? We're going to cover, is it too late? Especially for those who are have kids that are seniors this year, and you're thinking, man, this – Wow, you know, we're just getting started. Uh, we don't have any contacts yet. Uh, maybe you started and it kind of fizzled out and you're trying to regroup and and restart. But that whole thing, uh, when you think it's too late, then it does affect what you do. And I want to share with you three things that will help you out in this. And then finally, I think I've got for you an, an action step that could be very helpful in this whole process. I've 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 referred to it, oh, maybe a year ago, a little bit less than that, but this is a key to being able to uh, solve this problem that you may have here uh, when you think it's too late. So three things I want to share with you if you're in this group. I I might say, too, that if you're not in this group now, you may be in this group before you're done with it. it. You're likely to be thinking, man, is it too late? Can my son or daughter get a scholarship? Are they all gone? It's too late in our school year. It's too late in our season. We haven't heard from coaches, haven't heard from enough coaches. No one has even inferred that we're going to get an offer. Is it too late? Should we give up? The first thing I want to share with you in this in this issue is this. Know the truth. Know the truth. And sometimes it's hard to to know what that is, but I want to share with you the truth around this when you think it's too late, problem, this issue. And the thing is, coaches are always looking 
for recruits. They're always looking for scholarship athletes. Of course, there are some extremes. I mean, when you're just about ready to start your freshman year in college, you're probably not going to get a scholarship. But I have worked with families that have received scholarships either in the tail end of their senior year or even as summer begins to break. You know why? Because coaches are going to have money left over when those athletes that they've been recruiting choose another school. And every school has that. And then they start going down uh, their, their list of recruits after that, and they begin to make offers. That's kind of scary to wait that long, and I, I don't urge you to do that. But even at that point, even in the spring, after a signing period, um, they, may, they may still have money left over. And I've seen this happen over and over again. So you can get your foot in the door with an athletic scholarship. Coaches are always looking, and you may see it from your perspective here. Well, they're looking. They're not looking my way. They're not looking my kid's way. Um, and we're going to talk about how to, how to solve that as well. But don't believe that fallacy that, well, coaches aren't looking anymore. They won't notice my son or daughter. Uh, you start this negative thinking and negative talk, and you talk to yourself right out of being recruited. Coaches are always recruiting. They're always looking. Recruiting is a year-round sport for them. Uh, if they're not doing it, their assistant coach is doing it. Uh, when, in the, when they're in the heat of the season, yeah, maybe it slows down a little bit, but they have to continue to fill their rosters. You want to get the scholarship to be on their roster. They need athletes, scholarship athletes, to fill their rosters. So recruiting is year-round, and uh, so the truth of it is, is coaches are looking. You just need to get them to look at you, look at your son or daughter. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. Second thing to keep in mind, and what I'd like to encourage you to do is this, and this is kind of the heart of the matter here, is to zero in. It's crunch time. Yeah, I know it's late in the recruiting season for you. Um, whether you're listening to this when I release it in September, or maybe you pick this up in December or February, uh, and, and it's crunch time. Let's just, let's just call a spade a spade. So here's what I want you to do because it's crunch time. You can't, you can't be lazy. You can't relax. You really got to go for it. You can follow the steps that I lay out for you. I do that in the book. I've done it in these podcast episodes. I do it in the recruit me system. You can follow these steps. You just got to compress it. You know, if you got the, the six steps to an athletic scholarship, instead of spreading it out over two years, you got to compress it into a few months. But here's what I want you to do in this whole focusing and zeroing in is focus on 10 schools. These might be schools that you have some sort of relationship with, that you've had conversation going, or maybe... Uh, one or two of these are ones that have stalled out and you need to revive the relationship. Well, pick 10, whether they're ones you have a relationship with or if you even, haven't even started the process, pick 10 schools that you will go after aggressively. They're not going to come after you. You need to go aggressively to them. So athlete, I want to remind you, you have to be the one that makes the contact. Parent, you can help your son or daughter. You can put all the paperwork together. You can get the email written, but they need to, needs to come from their account, their email account, and they need, need to hit send. They need to be in all in on this. So focus on 10, some new, maybe all new, and some perhaps ones that you have some sort of, sort of relationship or had a relationship with. But we're going to say we're going to take these 10 and we're going to give it 100%. So the next thing I refer to is working hard. Man, you have got to work hard at this. You're running out of time. Uh, you have got to pour everything you can into this to make it work. All right? Third thing is communicate often. Don't under-communicate with coaches. Don't fall for the fallacy that coaches don't want to hear from you. Man, time is running out for you. Uh, the time for being uh, gracious, although you should always be gracious, uh, is, is over. I mean, what, what I'm saying is you need to make a pest of yourself. Yes. What do you got to lose here? 
You need to show these coaches that you are truly interested in their schools. You need to put yourself out there and and stand up and stand out among the crowd. Okay? This is kind of crunch time when you're competing as an athlete. You kind of suck it up and you give it all you have because there's two minutes left in the game. The score is tied. And, man, you have an opportunity to win. Or you're in your final race. You're competing for the state championship in your final race, and you just got to give it your all, even if you're already tired that day. Communicate often. I mean, over and over again with these coaches. Write them, call them, visit them if they're close by. You need to let them know that you are indeed interested. You're you're funneling your approach here. Uh, A third thing that I want you to do here, I mentioned uh, first, uh, know the truth. The coaches are looking. Second is zero in, focus on those 10, uh, work hard, and communicate often. Now, here's the third thing. Try something new. Man, maybe you've tried some things that are just not working. Or if you haven't tried anything, anything is new. Grab my book. It it tells you step-by-step what to do. Um, Get the free stuff. You don't want to spend money on the book. That's fine. Get the free stuff at recruitme.com. That'll get you off the, off the dime if you're just getting started. That's all you need at this point. That's trying something new. But think about something new that you can try in this whole process that, one, will give you the energy. We like to try new things. And two, get you noticed among other athletes. Do something different. Try something new. It's, uh, this is a time to do things you would not ordinarily do. Uh, try something new to get noticed by coaches. So those are the three things. I've got an action point for you here to wrap it up. Those three things, know the truth that coaches are looking. Got to set the stage with that. Don't believe the lie that they aren't. Second is you got to zero in because time is short. It's crunch time. Third, try something new. And, uh, you know, if, if, you're, if you play baseball, you may need a new stance to get a hit. Uh, if you play football, you may have to try something new, um, in order to get to the quarterback. Uh, if you're a runner and and you just can't seem to get to that next level, you may have to try something new in your form. Uh, these things help you advance to the next level. So try something new. Now I want you to, I want you to do this for the next 66 days. I'm going to give you a 66 day challenge and you got to, you got to do this. All right. I tried a 66 day challenge uh, in writing. I'm an author as well under a whole different topic than sports. But I spent 66 days writing every single day. End up writing two books, as a matter of fact, out of that. (laughs) Because I did a little bit each day and I kept it going. And there's momentum as you as you do that. And I want you to answer the 66 day challenge and pick something in your recruiting efforts that you are going to do for the next 66 days. It may be contact a coach every day. I mean, 66 days. Once you do something, it becomes a habit after that long. And there it adds up. I mean, you got critical mass going here after 66 days. What can you do for 66 days straight that will get you to that athletic scholarship that will get you recruited, even if you think it's too late right now. All right. Well, uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, if you have a question, I want to get your question at john at recruitme.com as we continue in this. I got one today that I need to reread because it's a pretty deep question, pretty involved. I didn't want to just answer off the top of my head, but I may pick this one up next week. Ask your question. It's the one question series. Uh, And I will just uh, ask you to be praying for the folks in North Carolina, South Carolina, who are still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Florence. Uh, They need our prayers, whatever you can do to help as well. If you can give, uh, if you can go and help clean up, anything that you can do, I would urge you to take a good look at that and see what you can do. All right. I'll talk to you next week.